All right, guys, so let's go over where the Wrangler's been over the last two months, three months, something like that. Um, as you guys have seen, I haven't really had it on the channel or anything like that. Uh, there's been a few issues with it, kind of back to back to back. Also, if this video looks any different, because I'm filming it on a GoPro and not my iPhone. So if it looks any better, let me know down in the comments, so that way I can either keep doing this or switch back to my phone. Also, we're going to start editing on the computer, so that way everything looks a lot better, everything's a lot cleaner. But for starters, I'm going to go ahead and insert the clip of what the Wrangler sounded like um, before I tore it apart and before everything happened. So let me go ahead and insert that clip now. So for starters, I thought that was the transfer case and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So there's a chain that comes around this gear and around these gears over here. I thought it was that chain got stretched because that's a common issue and slapping up against this case. So I went ahead and ordered an extra chain. This is a brand new chain. But when we went to remove it, we actually popped this piece off. Um, it happened pretty easily. It was real light and cold and we were just kind of in a rush. Now we probably could have welded it back on, but I also, for $175, bought a whole new used transfer case. So now I have all these extra parts to rebuild it. If anything goes wrong, I basically have a secondary backup transfer case, brand new chain and everything like that. I just wouldn't want to use this case unless we welded it up, obviously. But I went ahead and got that taken care of and got the new transfer case installed. Not, not sure if it's gonna show up on camera, but I got the new transfer case installed and it still made those sounds. So we went ahead and popped the rear div cover on our axle and found a ring gear tooth missing and two other ones cracked. So we obviously I've pulled this all apart, no axle shafts, um, pulled apart the entire diff except for like the bearing races and then the uh, like spacer thing for the locker for the air. Besides that, everything's pulled apart. I uh, got all the fluid down here. It was so thick at the bottom. You could literally just scoop it out with your hands with all the metal flakes in there. So um, I'm going to head to my friend's house. We're going to pull apart the locker, make sure nothing's damaged in there. Um, probably press apart the axle shafts with the bearings and seals and everything. I plan on replacing those. My friend um, owns a shop, so we'll get all that taken care of there. Um, this is also by no means Curry's fault. This um, could have happened to anybody. It's not really a huge deal. They went above and beyond to help me get this fixed and everything. So huge shout out to Curry on that one. But let's go ahead and figure out what's wrong with the locker and tear that apart. All right, so here's my pile of parts. Um, as you guys can see, this is the tooth we broke off. And the other two teeth behind it, I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up on camera if it's gonna focus, but this tooth, is cracked almost all the way through and then this tooth is also almost cracked all the way through so i'm not really sure how those didn't break off and then also on the pinion gear it left a little ridge put this light over here it left like a little ridge along on the inside i guess where it was making contact with this and we actually have the other piece of the tooth we dug out of the axle when we took it apart but i mean it's a pretty big piece some of it did get ground up obviously um the axle shafts seem like they're in pretty good condition we're just going to take them apart and replace the bearings and stuff like that. Um, today we're going to rip apart the locker, make sure nothing's damaged on the inside of this. If it's not, it should be pretty straightforward putting it all back together. If it is damaged, we can either order replacement parts or I guess get a whole new locker. I guess it depends on how messed up it is and the price for that stuff. I know the spider gears are fairly expensive, but we're going to go ahead and tear this down, um, take the bearings off. Take all the inside pieces of the locker apart, inspect everything, make sure nothing's broke. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so we got the locker split apart. Um, as you guys can see, the spider gears actually look like they're in pretty good shape. That was my main concern because on the ring gear, even when you set the tooth back on, there's still a decent chunk missing. My worry was that some of it got in here and uh, messed up some of these. And these gears are fairly expensive. I actually think these spider gears um, ended up costing more than the ring and pinion replacement. So I'm glad these are looking pretty good. Um, everything in there looks good, this side. And if you guys haven't seen like the inside of an ARB locker, this is basically a spring that compresses this little plate. 
And when you engage the air locker, this plate right here rotates up. Yeah, pull it up for you guys. Rotate. So that's locked right there. Yeah, it rotates up and prevents this from spinning freely. And it locks it to this part, which is, that's where your axle shaft goes into, is the other side of this. So everything's all locked together. So that's basically how an Airb air locker works if you guys have never taken yours apart. It's kind of cool to show you guys this just because like not many people get to see what the inside of this is unless it's a shop. So I figured this was a pretty cool thing to add in. So as of right now, it's kind of looking like we're going to need a ring and pinion. I mean, we're definitely going to need those. Um, not sure exactly on this. We're going to do a little bit more research and see what everything's supposed to look like in ideal condition and see if we have to turn anything else apart. New um, yeah, we're going to do new bearings just because we're already in here and there's no point to put it back together. Just tear it apart in a thousand miles and need bearings. Um, we're going to replace the seals on the ends of the axle shaft just because they're kind of one of those things that are pretty easy and pretty cheap to replace. So why not do it while we're in here? All the splines and everything look good. They're all in perfect condition. Axle shafts are fine. Um, I think the bearings on there are right. We'll see how easy they are to get off, I guess. And then if we have to replace them, replace them. But um, obviously we'll be making a video on putting everything back in if we can. Um, it's going to be like a little hard to record with lighting underneath the Jeep and everything. But so far, everything's looking good. Um, also, this is Cameron. So he works at Dalco Enterprises. And he actually is building himself a race car. So Street, street legal race car. Same thing. So he's going to have a channel soon. And he's going to be making a bunch of videos on his car and his build and everything like that and racing it. But, um, I mean, it's looking pretty sweet so far. If you guys saw this thing when he bought it, it's definitely come a long, long way. We're already probably halfway through the build process, so. Let me shoot. Catch the end of it, and then hopefully capture all the racing and events you get through with it. You guys can see that he picked out nice seats by going with the Brom seats, just like my Jeep. And then, I mean, he's built a pretty sick cage for this. Me and him were talking about possibly building a uh, cage for the Wrangler at some point once we get everything done. I mean, obviously, he's got a lot of work to do on this still, and then I have a lot of work to do on my Jeep. But when we both get free time, obviously, we might get that done. But he'll be starting a channel sometime soon, and when he does, I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description. That way you guys can check him out, subscribe. We'll be making a lot of content together. I mean, we might even feature this thing on the channel sometime. Change it up, it's not going to be all Jeep content, and I mean, his is not going to be all VW content. Yeah, we kind of get into the same stuff together, so... He helped us with the uh, axle swap and setting up the front Curry 44. Yeah. Did an amazing job. So. Alright guys, so the battery died on the GoPro, but um, yeah, so everything's looking good with the locker, axle shafts look good, uh, we'll get a new order in for a ring and pinion as long as we're sure everything's good in here, if not, we'll order the parts needed to fix the locker, but um, as always guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, we're super close to 2,000 subscribers, and I'll see you guys in the next one, thanks for watching.